I'm Dan Krivosich and I'm CEO of Electronic Vision. We're a digital media company. Uh, we do websites, we do video production, we do uh, online course creation, anything dealing with digital media. When I started the company 25 years ago, it was very important. We were a very small staff, two or three people. One of us had to take the role of uh, an accountant or, or the business office and at the same time understand how that would affect going out and going to clients and trying to get uh, production sales. So I learned, you know, I learned whatever software was around at that time. QuickBooks is used right now a lot and it helped me build budgets. It helped me project what the cost of the production was going to be the players you had to do, you know, if you had to go get contract players, what were their rates, how do those rates affect the production, and then ultimately, how is it going to affect your bottom line. The production accountant is very important because they provide us with the information we need to build costs for productions. For example, what does it cost to have a videographer for X amount of days? What's the cost of doing post? What's the cost of doing graphics? So they're very important to the process. And then they have to review where we are in the productions. That's very important. And by that I mean what, we're, what the productions are costing versus what the budget was that we said we'd do it for. And if you're in business, that's very important because that's your profit. It's important that you understand production. And what that means is you're going to have to take some courses along the way that teaches you production. Now you may not want to go out and be a director or a videographer or a web designer, but understanding what those folks have to do or, and what the process is is very important. Then of course, it doesn't hurt to take business courses, uh, accounting courses, it doesn't mean you want to be a CPA, but to understand basically accounting the software and what works in certain situations that you're trying to do when you're quoting and, and building a proposal. Other people can come from a strictly accounting background, and I'm sure that happens. Um, but I think they have to understand that this is a little different. You have a lot of elements when you build quotes and proposals, and it's important for that person to understand what that means in terms of what the hourly rate is. You know, if you have overage, is that covered in your contract? All those things that you have to build as you go along. Well, I think every major and medium city has production facilities, even more now because where you had giant facilities uh, with 150 people, there aren't that many of those left. Yeah, they, maybe they got 25. But then you've got small three, four, five person companies that still need somebody that can provide them with good numbers that tells them they're headed in the right direction. Now, you might have to wear several hats. You would probably have to be somebody who builds proposals, uh, that, that takes into account how much is being spent, that has to do, uh, if you're dealing with contractors, making sure their 1099s are there. So there, you expand your role. You, you take on a, a whole different role in terms of working, you know, with, if it's salary people, uh, making sure the government gets their income tax and all those things. So, if you're a five-person shop and you're in charge of that part, you're doing lots of different things. If you're interested in this field, start with learning what it is to produce something. And think about what it, and just on, you know, just on a piece of paper, think about what it costs you to do it. Just a simple exercise, like a lemonade stand thing that you might do. But here you're doing a, you're doing, you're shooting something, you know, and it can be fun stuff, but what did it take? Where did you get the camera? Did you supply any food for somebody? I mean, just little things like that. But starting, starting to understand the production process is the first step in my opinion.